Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. Um, I just heard rotten hell. <laughs> so, <laughs> right off the bat, that's nice. Um, I don't know what the hell that's all about. I don't think anyone, I don't really feel like anyone's saying that to the viewer. Maybe you're thinking it about somebody else, but there's some connivingness in here somewhere. And someone might be upset with another person because that's kind of what that feels like. But anyways, like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. Hope you do stay. I would love it if you would. So I've got quite a few things going on here all of a sudden. And whatever this is to you or whoever this is to you, I feel like they could be shocking because it feels like it just comes out of nowhere. Like a tower moment. Um, going, going, gone. So somebody could have left your life really quickly. Um, in the past. Gone. I don't know, because it almost feels like this is confusion. This is very confusing, because it almost feels like thinking someone's gone or thinking something's over and it's not something like that but I only say that because we have dragon beware of self delusion and so it's thinking one thing but it's really another for some of you or for someone and then there's acts forces working against you it could be with somebody's ex but regardless of that it's I don't know it could, there could be an ex involved but it almost feels like an ulterior motive that's what this feels like no matter what the motive is or why somebody has an ulterior motive and I say that because with beware of self delusion we have hearts that speak the same language so somebody might be playing off from your emotions or they're going to so just be aware like don't get caught up with love bombing crap and I say that because you could be dealing with someone's brother or there's a brother or something involved even if it's just a brother from another mother. I don't know, brother is significant or siblings, but it's like talking to two people who are either related or know each other. But anyways, regardless of that or who it is, you'll know in your own situation. Um, I just heard rags to riches. So there could be like a money focus here. Um, all that glitters is not gold because I feel like there's a persona going on. And someone's trying to deceive you or they already did. This feels like it's coming up, though. For some of you, it could have already happened. Um, tell you what you want to hear. It's almost like build you up just to tear you down. And that's not the universe doing it. That's a person. Because um, someone's a gold digger. And it almost feels like a guy. <laughs> There's a man who has a lot of... I don't know. His main focus is his finances. Because it's like I want the best of the best or something some type of money bullshit in here and social media got this person in trouble or you or whoever yeah online communication with that for okay i said be careful with love bombing because hearts that speak the same language you might be led to believe that you're truly connected to this person i mean you know, you really do know who you're connected to and who you're not. Don't base it off from what people say. It's it's just a feeling. Do you know what I mean? It's not... Nobody can persuade you or win you over to connect you. Does that make sense? I don't know. Something like that. But I feel like with self-delusion and stuff, it's like when our feelings get involved, sometimes we create a fantasy in mind and it's hard to separate that from reality I guess or the reality of a situation or a person and this just feels like somebody is going to try to speak your love language just to win you over or they already did because we have beauty and the beast you're very different and trust your instincts with this because with uh, forces are working against you we have setting clear boundaries so it's like there are people who don't have your best interest at heart or there's a specific person and you need to set those clear boundaries like this is the line in the sand you cross it I'm gonna you know no like it'll be I'll just cut you out basically 
um, really listen to yourself versus what somebody shows you or says. Because I feel like this is either ass kissing energy or um, I know that you're hopeless romantic or I know that you like this or you like that or this is your interest, whatever the hell it is. They'll feed off from what they know about you and try to sweep you off your feet with the love bomby crap. But this person isn't that way. They're not a hopeless romantic. They're not anything like that. It's it's all an act for some reason, possibly due to money. Like maybe they see that with you or you have money or something. But regardless of their reasoning, they don't have the best of intentions. And these bad intentions might not even be towards you, the viewer, or whoever. It could be towards their own sibling or their own brother. Um, because I heard yesterday in my head, I heard, um, I'm going to get to her first. So there could be a level of competition in a situation, whatever that is to you, but I'm going to get to her first. Someone could have, or they tried to. Cause it almost feels like, well, if I get there first, then my sibling won't want nothing to do with so-and-so or. I win. It's very competitive, but for some reason, I don't feel like this person's competing with you specifically. They're competing with a sibling or a friend or something. I want to kiss you so bad. Please hold me. Don't ever let me go. Comfort. I'm moving closer to you. Music, song lyrics, music's very significant. You're everything to me. And then um, having no direction lost. This brother person, the sibling, has no direction. They're lost, which is probably where this crap is coming in. Um, because this just feels like over the top. This feels love bombing to me, especially with all these cards back to back. It's like, it's like, okay, if somebody didn't speak to you in this manner before, then all of a sudden they do. Uh, be aware, be weary, listen to your instincts. Just say it. Because guess Dawn is in the building. That's what this is. Because guess Dawn is the one that is in love with Belle. And she can't stand him. It's like everyone loves guess Dawn. Except for Belle. Belle's like, you're an arrogant, pompous piece of shit. I don't like you. And, <laughs> and um, she likes the Beast. But she doesn't know that she loves the Beast until she really gets, gets to know him. Um, you're too... You're too close. You're too close to something. I don't feel like you're too close to someone. You're too close to something bad or someone bad. You're too close. Something to do with a diamond. You're too close. Because that doesn't feel like someone's like next to you and it's like, oh, you're too close to me back up it feels like you're too close to information a situation you're too close to something bad huh you're too close for some of you there could be a, a level of jealousy where it's like um not too close for comfort but you two are too close. We need to separate the two of you because I want to be close to you kind of thing. Like something like that could be going on for someone. That feels very minor. But yeah, just be aware that somebody might approach you. It is somebody that you probably have feels for um, because these warnings wouldn't be coming out if you didn't give a shit about them. If you were like anti them never again or I never had feelings for you kind of thing if that's the energy there then this message probably isn't for you because you, you would listen to yourself because you weren't interested in the first place someone's going to use your feelings against you is what it feels like um, but magical help is on the way so don't be scared I can't do this anymore it's too much that could be somebody's approach as well you know, like, I can't stay away anymore. I can't do this, that, and the other. I It's too much to handle. I need to come clean. I need to say this. I need to express myself, you know? And if it's not that, someone really can't handle what the hell is going on in their situation, potentially with a Taurus. 
stay away. It's for your best interest. So if you're dealing with a Taurus or there's just Taurus energy in here somewhere, um, you might want to stay away from that person or they need to stay away from someone. Some Someone needs to stay to fuck away is what it feels like. Something to do with social media, like big time. So let's get one of these. New love, courtship, romance, falling in love. There is new love here. Follow your heart. Listen to your instincts and stuff is what I want to say. Not, not to what people portray, but how do you feel around them? Because someone can say all the right things. They can look, you know, put together and wonderful. And then you go, like, that's how manipulators manipulate us so that we get swept off our feet kind of thing. But if you have this like funny feeling and it's like, you're so nice and you're doing this and you're doing that. Why do I feel this way? Like, why am I going like internally? Listen to your internal meter. I'm just saying, because you'll probably end up hurt if you don't. And that kind of hurt could be different for anyone. Um, really trust your instinct. Because there is a new connection coming in. But take it slow. Take things slow until you know. You know what I mean? Because um, for some of you, there could be a person in this situation who probably didn't have the best of intentions towards you at one point, And they might have fallen for you. Or they will. Or that's what's slowly happening. And it's almost like... <sighs> I was part of this for a completely different reason. I didn't want to catch catch feels or anything and then they do it was unintentional because that's how love is it's unintentional you never intend for it and it can't be forced it just naturally happens and I kind of feel like that's happening in a situation you might not trust that person because of prior crap but regardless of that there is someone that you need to be be aware of you know beware um someone's trying to gauge your your energy like when's a good time to say something when's a good time to do this like is is everything free and clear at the moment can do i have an in <laughs> do i have an in could have something to do with art as well i don't know what that's about maybe you guys paint or do something like that i don't know whatever the art is arts it's not just arts and crafts but arts like Someone might be working with magic and shit, but regardless of that stuff, I feel like, I don't know, some, the energy's peaking, like it's building momentum. Now I'm drumming. That's that Native American drumming. It's like ceremonial, but... If you think about it, whenever, um, depending on the ceremony, it's like a lot of energy is built up during these ceremonies that, you know, especially Native Americans do, but other cultures do it too, where there's groups of people. And prayer in numbers is actually pretty powerful because you figure it's powerful enough for just yourself for manifestation and whatever. But um, when you get a group of people together, it's more powerful because it's everyone with the same intention. So there could be a group of people who have the same intention and it might not be the best intentions towards you or whoever you're dealing with or whatever um but because it's almost like the energy builds and builds and builds and then and then everything stops and then you wait and then the rain comes because now i'm thinking of like a rain ceremony but anyways like regardless of what the the, the purpose of the ceremony is it's intense and then it stops, it's silent, and then you wait for, you know, your, to reap the rewards of whatever. Or you wait for an answer. Someone might be waiting for an answer. Like, I'm waiting to hear from someone, so, so I know what steps to take in this situation. There's multiple people involved. I don't know what the hell this is, but this feels fucking stupid right now. It really does. Um... Cause he's like sweeping her off her feet and they're, they're walking on a branch. 
it's like I'll catch you before you fall kind of thing, but why? Someone's asking why, they wanna know why. Something to do with Rome. When in Rome, you know? Um, something to do with Rome. Somebody walked too close to love and they fell in, they really did. It's just, I don't know, this feels, this feels good and unexpected. I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe this delusional energy, this like smoke screen is leading you to new love because, because of lessons and stuff. It's helping you see more clearly so you can truly trust your instincts and intuition is kind of what that feels like. So with this new love, yeah, definitely listen to yourself. Mastery, you've learned a spiritual lesson. That's what I was just talking about. Which is probably why new love is coming in for you in the first place. Um, there's a level of rejection here. This rejection is actually divine protection. Yeah. If they rejected you or you rejected them, it was for the best. It was for the best. There was, some there was some type of rejection that was for the best. Because someone is not who they appear to be. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place. And I feel like it has to do with this other person. Like, what it's making me think of is falling in love with um, someone's potential. Or what you think they could be, but not really who they are. Because somebody probably didn't show you their true colors. Um, I'm not saying this person is a complete crap bag or anything like that it's just we don't always do the best things when when we're when we're in a crap crappy headspace situation whatever you know what I mean and that's not an excuse it's just an explanation for why people act the way they act sometimes um hmm. there is some significant with fire Fire's purification is very cleansing. The timing was off is what I just heard. And I'm seeing, oh, it's reminding me of what I saw because I was like closing my eyes and picturing things like in a meditative state. And <clears throat> I was thinking of a junction, you know, like when you're at a crossroads, like a, a road junction. Um, so I don't know if that could have something to do with driving or it's like meet me in the middle kind of thing where I don't know which direction to go in. It's, it's something along those lines. But in the meditation, it was very quick. It was like a vision, basically, because I wasn't really meditating. I was just kind of quietly sitting there. <laughs> and when I closed my eyes, I saw a long dirt road. And I was like, it almost looked like a four-wheeler path. And it could have been, but if it is a four-wheeler trail, an actual vehicle could go down this path because it, it's in the woods and stuff, but it's not, um, it's not a main road or anything like that. And I feel like most people wouldn't take their vehicles down there, but you can. So it would be chalked up to be like a, a four wheeler trail or something, but it was long and woods everywhere, trees and stuff. And then it opened up into this clearing and I saw a bunch of tall grass. And that's all that was there. It was like dirt road, whatever the hell. And it just opened up to an empty fucking field. But it wasn't a huge field. It was almost like a circle. And it doesn't get mowed. And that's what I saw. It's like the road to nowhere. This connection could be the road to nowhere. Just saying. Um, I just heard, I've been there. Um... Someone's a technician as well. I don't know what kind of technician. Like, it's making me think it could be anything. Like, you know, it could be, it's like some type of a technical job. That's what somebody does for work, no matter what it is. There's some, a technician here. But it doesn't have to do with tech, like technology. It's a trade. Somebody works. It made me think of like construction type crap, you know, whatever that is. Go off from that. I am happy that it's over. I'm happy that this is over and done with. Someone's happy that something didn't come together for you or that this whole situation is just done. 
I'm happy it's over. And then I'm sorry. I've been here before with others. I'm waiting for an apology. I've been here before with others. I'm sorry. I took the, the easy way out. And you didn't imagine it. Whatever happened between you and this person, whatever was going on, it wasn't in your head. It, you weren't delusional. It was really happening. People were messing with you or this person was being whatever they were doing. But I feel like a lot of you are waiting for an apology because it's like, this just happened time and time again. Well, that apology is coming in. Yeah. An apology is coming in. I don't want to keep that card out, though. Give me more on this rejection, please. I heard we're all in this together. <laughs> so there could be a group of people. We're all in this together. It's like if I go down, we all go down. If I succeed, we all succeed. We're all in this together. Because this doesn't feel like a spiritual thing. Like, oh, we're all on this journey together. No, we're all in this fucking situation and we're all in it together. Someone's bound and determined to achieve something. All in this together. A convenience store could be significant or a gas station as well because usually gas stations are like convenience stores. Um, cause I'm seeing A, G and like, is that the A and G? A, I don't remember, but, um, there used to be a store called that or something. Could be somebody's initials as well. I just heard great. So I don't know. Something's great or someone's going shit, <laughs> you know, whatever it is. Yes, it is too late. So it's too late to recover something. I want to tell you so many things, but maybe communication will come in. Just trust your instincts. And if you don't believe someone, it doesn't really matter what they have to say now, does it? If you're just like, yeah, whatever. Um, can't trust you anyway, so tell me whatever you want. Uh, King of Pentacles, maybe somebody's worried about that. I almost said Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this could be um, someone who has water in their chart or earth or both. Or those are just the energy surrounding you or this person. I feel like there's a masculine energy here who really needs to listen to themselves when it pertains to their friends, family, people they trust. Because there's someone around them that they shouldn't be trusting. And it could have screwed up some type of love connection or their love life and, you know, happy family type stuff is put on hold because of whatever whatever's going on around that person could be happening to a female but I feel like there's a masculine or a man here who needs to really listen to himself when he's dealing with anyone you know like past people exes friends family people that you think you can trust that off feeling like so and so would never do that to me so and so's doing that to someone I'm just saying like Just heard alrighty then. So I don't know. What is this? The devil. Yeah. With the four of cups. Rejection. We have rejection. So there is a fear of rejection here, and that could be holding somebody back, but this is feeling left out. Somebody could have left you out or rejected you on purpose. Because of manipulation. I don't know, I almost feel like somebody manifested this rejection. Like, I don't want to see you two together kind of thing. I don't want you to be friends. I don't want you to be lovers. I don't want you to be fucking anything. I don't want you to be happy. I don't want this new crap for you. So, so I'm going to screw it up. Like, that's what this feels like. There's some, but it's not just one person. Somebody screwed something up for someone. It's funny because in this card with the four of cups, you would think she's all depressed and sad because she got rejected. He or she. There is the ace of swords here, so there's the truth coming in. And the ace of wands is in the beginning. Ooh, shit. But that's also... Somebody could be fearing a new start or that you're moving on. But this feels... Yeah, because with the knight of wands after that. 
I was thinking passion. So There's like a sexual energy here. Someone could have looked at you as though you were like a siren, a temptress, a tempter, or whatever. Or that all you want is sex, basically. But I feel like there's a level of rejection here. And this King of Pentacles person or whoever's representing him could be looking at you or this person like, Oh, you're so sad. You're just laying there, like, moping around, thinking about me kind of thing. Um, but you're not. You're looking at things from a different perspective. Because she's, like, upside down. It's like, I see what you don't see. I see why you did what you did kind of thing. And it didn't break me, so we're good. Um, I see what's happening here. That's what this is. I see what's happening here. Really listen to yourself. Because there is some sexual component. Yes. Possibly with two people or more. I don't know. Someone could have called you a hoe or a whore or something. Or you were just made out to be that way. Like to look that way. For some reason, I feel like there's someone in this situation that was afraid to be close to you in that way because they thought that you guys would be connected. They would have, like, some type of attachment. <laughs> like, your energy would attach to them or whatever. And I don't feel like that would have happened. It could have been a scare tactic. Or they were just worried. Like, oh, if I get too close to you, then uh, I won't be able to walk away and I don't want to be under anyone's spell you know that's kind of what it feels like um so someone didn't want to be pussy whipped basically we have the six of swords this is moving on yeah someone might look at you as though you're all sad and moping around but you see things from a different perspective and you are moving on I feel like this person is going you are shit like where'd you go um I don't feel like this was devastating did somebody think that turning you down would devastate you? Like, you can't live without them because you're so attached, you're so obsessed, or whatever. If that's the case, it backfired because I don't feel, I feel like somebody moved away from it. Like, all right, whatever. Like, you don't like me? Okay. Bye. <laughs> like, whatever. That's kind of what that feels like. And I'm not saying that you didn't care. UPS could be significant. I don't know why. Um, so delivering packages, getting packages. Maybe somebody works for them. Who knows? Um, but it's like moving forward. I feel like it did upset you, but it wasn't like it didn't ruin your life, basically. I don't know. Someone must have thought that you were more attached to another person than you really were or really are because I don't feel like you're I don't feel like you're attached to anyone it's like even if you have love for someone even if you care even if you were hopeful of this that and the other it's like going into situations and relationships without an expectation it doesn't leave you disappointed because you're not expecting them to say yes. You're not expecting, you don't have your whole future painted already. You know what I mean? It's just an idea. <laughs> you know, it's just a thought or whatever. It's like, yes, this would have been nice, but you know, guess it's not meant to be. And that's really what that feels like. And we have the Knight of Wands again. Yeah, because somebody was trying to manipulate somebody sexually. I do feel like that's in here. And it could have happened within a group or there could be multiple people who are doing that but there's somebody thought that you were trying to manipulate them especially sexually or in a passionate way through your work um, especially if you're online or something but their social media got me in trouble there is communication here but there's multiple people or a couple people working together with this communication they were working together to try to manifest something to make something happen like, I want to make this happen. So it's not just expecting an outcome. It's trying to create an outcome. Trying to make someone look a certain way. Or it's forced action. But there's rejection in here. Because it's, you can't force love. You can't force... You really can't force whatever this is. No. You can't force somebody to love you. You can't force... 
a bond, a connection. Somebody did something. They tried to manipulate you or the situation and they did it too quickly and, and now I feel like they're getting caught. It could have something to do with work or somebody that you work together with. Some plans are just not working out. They're just not working out. Because I feel like there's a manipulation tactic here. And whatever this plan was, whatever happened, whatever said, done, whatever, it, would, it happened too fast. Um, not you connecting with someone in a romantic sense. Whoever was messing with someone else. Everything, it was, uh, there's a lot of holes in the plan or whatever or holes in someone's story like it didn't work out because it was rushed it was rushed it's like we gotta do this now we gotta do this like trying to make things happen instead of taking instead of these people or this person taking their time to really think things through and have a legitimate plan it was just like and it got all fucked up but I feel like that's just part of the divine plan in this situation anyways. There's a lot of healing energy. It's time to heal this. I feel like through this process, you have been healing yourself. Seven of Swords. With a friend or a child. So there could be an earth sign friend or child or just someone in that energy. But this is a lie. Someone could have been pretending to be your friend. They could have been pretending to do whatever. Um, like, I feel like someone was pretending to do something just to get close to you for whatever fucking reason. And you might need to heal from this because it might hurt your feelings. I don't feel like it's going to wreck you or devastate you because I feel like you already have some... I don't know, an off feeling, some inclination of some bullshit, even if you can't quite put your finger on it. But I feel like this backfired. Whatever it is. If I could turn back time. That's how some was thinking. I wish I could turn back time. I'd take back the things I said and did. If I could, like, share. If I could turn back time. Someone's thinking about that. I wish I could turn back time and really work together with you, not against you, not hurt you. I would have handled things differently. I would have said things differently. I don't know. Someone's definitely reflecting. And it could be a king of wands who betrayed you or who is feeling betrayed. One or the other or both. I keep staring at the four of swords. It's like time and time again. I'm left here alone to comfort myself because that's what she's doing. It's like going over, like looking at the clock and she's naked and vulnerable and just kind of holding herself. And it's like I'm all alone time and time again. Anytime something bad happens, I have to comfort myself. So through this process and just in life in general, it feels like a lot of you have learned how to self-soothe where you don't need somebody to hold you, hug you, protect you, and love you. Like, it's nice to have that stuff, but it's not necessary because you can do it all on your own. So a lot of you learn self-love through this process, through a level of rejection. And whoever rejected you, they are missing you. For some of you, it is an ex, but it feels like it's multiple people. And, you know, it's too late for that situation to come back around. Mm-hmm. Because she's got that, is it a Kong shell or whatever the hell it is, where you can hear the ocean in them. She's sitting there. This is a two of swords, so it's like confusion. It's like holding this, like, all right, I hear this, I know this. I know this to be true because it's, it's tangible. I know it's to be true. It's right here. But, you know, like, what if? Um, but what if? It's almost like having a hard time making a, a complete decision when it comes to relationships or just forward movement because it's like holding on to something or holding on to someone like, you know, I know I should do this, but what if so-and-so returns? Could be a dude feeling this way too. It doesn't just have to be a female. It's just a chick in the card, but it's like having something right in front of you, like this opportunity, this new love, because that's what this is. Somebody could have rejected you because they're waiting for the past. Um, 
And it's like, I could have this, I could have all, yeah, the light flash. I could have all of this, but what if my ex returns? What if the one I've been thinking about <sighs> comes in and wants me back or fucks shit up? Because <laughs> the devil's right there. But so in the end, it's going, I don't know if I should let go of this or not. And this person probably rejected you and, let go, and they let go of something good because they were waiting on something that would never come to fruition because it, it's just self delusions thinking that someone else cares about you when they really don't yeah it's letting go of your two of cups justice because look this person should be looking at the two of cups like this is the soulmate connection the strong connection that you deserved or they deserved or both of you deserved but this person was like wasn't seeing it because they were just hung up some in a different direction hung up on someone else someone made a wish that they wish they didn't make that's really what it feels like nine of wands not giving up Yeah, somebody wouldn't give up. I don't know, this kind of feels like a backwards thing. It's it's almost like having this new connection and, like, say, you wouldn't give up on the new connection. They rejected you because they were hanging on to a connection that's outdated, that it's too late to recover. So it's like, okay, new connection. You're Say you're the new person, and you're like, oh, let's try, let's try, and you keep trying because you're focused on them well they're focused on somebody else or the past or whatever so it's like you're all looking in a different direction but eventually if you circle back around you'll all be looking at each other you know what I mean it's that sense of reflection and I feel like that's kind of what's going on because it's like oh new love I'm looking at you well you're looking at someone else and then you're like well all right, this ain't working out you rejected me whatever so I'm gonna turn around and look elsewhere now they're looking at you you're not looking at the past. You're just not looking at them anymore. That's kind of what that feels like. Um, it might be bothersome to them. It just depends on, you know, how, how they truly feel about you. And I do feel like this person has feelings for you. It's just, they do have trust issues. Um, and I feel like whoever this is might be worried that you might not trust them because of however they handled, handled things with you, you know? Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you. Is that it for now? Yeah. The magician. Make shit happen. You have all the tools that you need to move forward. Um, I feel like the divine might just throw someone's ass overboard. Like, all right, uh, it's time for you to take a leap of faith whether you like it or not. Someone's very burdened by a rejection. Yeah, somebody rejected their two of cups. Because they weren't thinking things through. They were potentially listening to gossip and bullshit because there's a shovel and it's got dirt on it. It's like, oh, someone's digging up dirt. Or they thought they found dirt on you and they didn't because it's all crap. So don't listen to the opinions of others is what I got to say. That's what I have for you. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it makes sense. Love you home time. Peace.